say that we decide that our classification sheet needs some additional categories that we don't already have. So uh, the, way, the way to add attributes to a classification sheet is to click on our node classifications, and here's our child Here's our child node. We want to go to the Create tab. We will do um, Create a New Attribute. And let's, let's decide that we're going to, in addition to the other things we have for the children, we'll have the number of books that they responded to. Let's, so let's call that NO that for Number Books respond to respond. We'll just call it R-E-S-P for, for brief and I'll put here number of books family responded to and I can create the values and I know there are only six books so I'm going I'm going to add values so one value is they responded to one book and I can just put the description here for that one book going to add two oops for and I need to get rid of I got a little problem there let's see if we can get here we'll get this two books let's add another one three add four add five add six tell it okay now, we've, we've actually added in the node classifications a new attribute under child when it says number of book responses. And if you want to see how that looks in the classification sheet, uh, let's go back and look at our classification sheet. So one way to do that is to the Explore tab, and we go to the node classification sheets and choose child. And it clicks us right here back to our, our classification sheet. Let's get this open so we can see a little better. And we're going to scroll over to the last column, and you see here's our new attribute, number of books responded to, and we've not yet put in any values here, so they all say unassigned. But, you know, I think that's sort of going to cause me a problem, because I don't like it saying no book uh, responded. I mean, I meant number, but I think that's going to be hard to, to remember. So I'm actually going to change the name. So the way to do that, is to show the attribute that we want to edit. Let's click on it here. Let's right click on it. And we'll click down to Attribute Properties. And we're going to change the name because I don't like that. No, let's put Number. Let's just re type it num Number Book Response. I think I'll just put number of books. I think that, that will work. Number of books family responded. You'll like that better. And I can leave the values as they are and click OK. So I can, you can see how you can very quickly make edits here. Now as we look at Diana's file in a little bit and we want to figure out how many, of, how many books she did respond to, once we figure that out, we can come back here to Diana's file. And all we'll need to do is to find Diana and we'll click right here um, and you'll see I have the choices that I created with my um, values one two three four five or six and we can actually we'll actually enter the data inside in vivo because of course this this particular column wasn't imported from the outside in our Excel file